You're done. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, Scott, I got your waivers. He's good. Um, uh, we want to make sure he knows, take the hood. One guy should hear the car. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, you guys are the ones doing it. Pull up to the top of the, the waiting on you. Up there. Come back and We gotta hustle, dude. Look at all those cars. Got it. That's where he's at. So, good luck with that flag. So, uh, What's that? I had a hair flow weird at eight for seven months, one like that. Oh, I got so tired of it. I'm tired of it already. I've been wearing it for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a little better than having the other one I had. Right. No, you're not. You're not gonna be leaving no, I mean, the like, fire. Team. No, I mean, like, I mean, like right here in the beginning room. We can just validate. Like, okay, you step out. That's fine. Welcome, gentlemen, to FTX. Welcome. All right. Uh, take a look at your fire team. These are the guys you're gonna be with for the next couple of days. Okay. Get to know them. Uh, you'll be working together. Your fire team leaders. You guys um, need a copy of the schedule, and you need to know where to be and when to be there. Roger that? Roger. Okay. Um, we've got some rotating squads uh, schedules. We don't have a Delta squad now, so we'll actually We're have We're up a here break, rallying up at the top. Uh, in between, or at least some of us who are doing the training, we'll have a break here. Team leaders, well, actually, squad leaders, why don't you introduce yeah. yourself to your squad? Yeah. And that because, uh, Corporal Aaron Palmer, how you guys doing? doing all right? Awesome. You are Team Alpha. Corporal Paul Reed, how are you guys doing? Doing yeah. good. Good. Your Team Bravo, Squad Bravo, I mean. Uh, PFC, Jason Stop. And your Team Charlie, okay? Um, thank you for coming today. I'm a, uh, Sergeant Mays, Sergeant Munoz, 
And Sergeant Roklowski, we call him Sergeant Claw because Roklowski's kind of tough for me to say. Um, while we're doing the training today, some of us are training for the first time this particular skill or whatever. I hope that you guys will be doing that training sooner or later, okay? Especially if you see something you could do better. Excellent. Learn it and do a paddle. As soon as Staff Sergeant Hall gets over here with the flag, we'll start with that. So, is that my claw? Not yet. Almost. Now let's open with a prayer, gentlemen and ladies. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, so much for the beautiful day. And uh, we thank you for the fellowship that we share with each other. We ask, Lord, that you keep us safe today. Uh, help us to learn much. And Father, be with us. Give us wisdom and strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Staff Sergeant, can you say a few words? Do you want to put the flag in first, or do you, you want me to talk? It's up to you, sir. Where's the right? Start here for all of you, all you new guys. All right. Okay, so we're gonna be doing drill and ceremony today for this morning right now. Okay. Uh, basically, what that is is uh, standing at attention. Have you, have, have any of you been in the military? Raise your hands. Okay. So you, some of you already know what attention is. That's basically, I would call attention. You would be in whatever position I could say. I would say, okay, first of all, first, I'm going to call, let's say, platoon. That's going to get your attention. And that's, a, that's like a prep command, okay? Now I'm going to say, attention. So you're going to just come together, your arms straight to your sides, almost grabbing. You can almost say you can grab your pants. I kind of remind you to keep them at your sides, okay? Looking straight forward, all right? Chest out, all right? So we're going to do that. Bend your knees a little bit. Okay, don't lock them up because I don't want people passing out. That's what happens sometimes if you, if you do that. All right, you guys ready? Platoon! Turn! Turn! Okay, what I'm going to tell you now is we're, we're going to go for parade rest because we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to teach another um, Another thing here, parade rest, you be from attention, put your hands behind your back like that, Let's say parade, parade rest, you would just kind of sort of, sort of like a relaxed sort of position, you know, we could be just, just talking, you know, but still kind of paying attention, not just shooting the shit. Just the right leg. All right, so we're going to do parade rest, parade, parade, rest! All right, so the reason why I wanted to Change. do that, you know, Right face. Right face. About face. Left face. Right face. Notice their hands and knuckles. Notice right. their feet. When they turn, watch their feet and which ones move and which ones don't move. Up out! Face! You're always going to have to find that sweet spot. So it's going to take practice. You're never going to get it right. Then once you finally do, you're going to end up in that position already. Now, even if you screw up, don't correct yourself. Because then you're going to be seen, you're going to be fidgeting, you're going to be all over the place. So wherever you end up, say that you because you're pretty much disrespecting them so that's why you always go behind all right so uh, gotcha. then watch around the platoon terrain always dictates a trail might not go straight it might it might wind a lot and you don't want the first guy taking off 10 20 yards in front of you and have the other guy then take off and start walking real fast to try to catch up to you, you guys want to try to space it out space it out and watch foot movements your eyes are everything. And at the same time, while you're worrying about your distance, you want to keep ahead on your swivel. But everybody should be always looking around. Always and consistently looking and checking your six. Go ahead. Can you also discuss 
Did you guys mention the, the staggering the line slightly? That way one bullet doesn't pick up two guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Fine. Oh, okay. I'll just oh that. one more thing, guys. When you're in the Ranger file, you actually don't want to walk in a file. You kind of want to stagger yourself a little bit. Kind of help you. So you get, one bullet you know, doesn't take two guys. One bullet, once again. And so you guys covering sector of fire? Sectors of fire. I think he already did. I'm not sure yet. I'm just kind of helping him out. But <clears throat> the bottom line is we don't want to lose anybody. So, pretty self. And I served uh, 11 months in Iraq and it was a 14 month deployment all together. I worked with different types of units, so from maintenance, so unit training, trying to police officers, SWAT team. Uh, so, I've got that behind my back. I also have um, self defense training, split, si split second survival. I've got Taekwondo training. Um, so, I'm real well rounded in a lot of different areas. I know there's probably some of you guys out there a little bit more experienced than me, and some of the things I'm going to be talking about today are not going to be just military, they're going to be crossing over to SWAT. Uh, today, uh, John, Edwin, and Nick are going to be helping me with the highest threat in the house. You know, the whole thing's a threat, but you got to start putting it in priority. You may not go left, you may not go right, you may not go center. It's all on where the where you feel the threat is, and, you're, and the guys behind you come off on your lead, and they'll take they'll pick up the slack of the low areas that you went right, the guy behind you will go left. Stuff like a trainer. When we, this is a new concept, and I'm not sure if these guys know it, but your buddy's gonna be your protection. He's got plates on, I've got plates on. If someone hits me in the back, he's not gonna get hit. Someone hits in the front, you know, I'm not gonna get hit in your team. You wanna have five guys. Because as we go through things, it's more of like a leapfrog. That's gonna happen. And you, you, you're gonna go from one to two to variant, depending on how you go into the rooms and it's just kind of like everybody's like centipeding around. So it's really you're focusing on who's in front of you and what they're doing, and you they're trusting you to do the next thing, you know, to cover their back, and they're doing their best to, uh, to assess the threat, the first threat. So if you're going, if you only got two guys, obviously you're going to come into your room and you're going to go left and see the foot and stuff like that. I hope you guys can see. Okay, so obviously this is going to be our target area. You just got dismounted for vehicles. Um, I'm not sure what kind of mounting stuff they're going to go over. You go over a couple quick things. When you get out of a vehicle, if you have to, if you're engaging out of a vehicle, you use, stay in front of the tire well, stay in front of the pillars right here, and watch your muzzle. If you get down, it'll, it'll come off the top of your vehicle. Right? Pull the things. You come out of the vehicle, you start to engage fire. You come out of the tire well, 